belts. I am went over to America to uh, to do something with Mike. I was going to make his own brand of boxing gloves, and I am my wife and okay. I we were looking for him for a couple of days, and um, I finally found out where he was. And I went to his um, house where he was um, on the lounge with um, old chicken, just chicken bones sitting beside him. I thought he was going to die, and I, I I didn't. I tried to wake him. We had a little bit of a talk, and um, I knew that I was not going to get nothing out of him there. So I just no. I had to. I, I left the house with my wife, and my wife and I were crying our eyes out because I thought I'm never going to see this guy again. And then I look at what he's done in the last couple of months, and how many people he's helping, and um, what he's trying to do uh, with his time and everything that he's doing today. And I'm yeah. like I say, I'm I'm so proud of him. I mean, just rewind always... there for me, Jeff, a sec. So you've you've you went to his house, and he was there with. I thought you were going to tell me a funny story there for a second, and then you uh, took no, it down at me. I'd, I was like, "Whoa!" So he, you've gone there, and he, what happened then? He's, there was some well, chicken was, bones next to him. Well, no, he, no, he was just—he was chewing old these bones. Being, I don't know, this chicken must have been. He, he was just—he was just so off his face on drugs and whatever, whatever he took. I don't know because I've never had a drug in my life. But it, I honestly thought that he was going to be dead. I thought, "Wow, this—I'm never going to see Mike again." Because, um, yeah, yeah, it was. It was. No, I stood outside my wife for like twenty minutes, and I crying on because I, you know, I couldn't get them no sense out. He, he really couldn't talk to me too much. But um, yeah. But um, then I look what he's done, how he's transformed his life today, and I'm, yeah. I'm the proudest guy in the world. Yeah. 